In MLBB lore, many heroes relate to each other. And also in the game, some heroes get buffed when teaming together with certain heroes. And not only that, but some heroes become better when we play together with some heroes. If you want to know more details, then this video is for you. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, we will talk about the heroes that get better and also get extra buffs when we play together with certain heroes. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First, we will talk about Leslie and Harley. If you have been playing these two heroes quite a lot, then you might have already known about it. In case if you haven't, let me tell you, when Leslie and Harley are in the same team, they both will get 10 extra HP. I know this won't make much difference, but as the saying goes, something is better than nothing. Next, we have the Oriental Fighter, that is Ling, Wan Wan, Vakshya and Zilong. They will gain a higher movement speed boost with more Oriental Fighters on the battlefield. One movement speed boost for each ally on the battlefield. When all the Oriental Fighters are together in a team, they will get an extra 4 movement speed. Next, I want to talk about Silvana and Dairoth. They were siblings but got separated when they were young and now fight each other. So as expected, they get buffed when they are in different team. When they are facing each other on the battlefield, they will get 1% extra attack speed. And as of now, this is the only hero buff that applies when two heroes are on opposing team. Sicilian and Carmilla Sicilian and Carmilla also get a special skill when they are in the same team. When Carmilla is nearby, Sicilian can call her into a vermil shadow possessed by him for 5 seconds, providing 220 to 500 shields and it will scale with Carmilla's level. Carmilla can select a target place and land on there, gaining equal shield, dealing 220 to 500 magic damage, scales with her level within the area of effect and slowing them down by 30% for 1 second. This might come in handy in many situations. Let's now talk about some heroes that can combo so well when they are in the same team. First we have Johnson and Kadita. This pair can easily wipe out a cluster team if Johnson hits the target perfectly. The stuns from Johnson's ultimate and Kadita's skill too and then a clean ultimate can secure multiple kills. Apart from kills, Katita's ultimate immunity can also help her flee from a potential dangerous situation. To carry out a clean combo, let Johnson hit the enemy and use second skill of Katita and then ultimate. But Johnson should also watch the map and go around in a safe area. If not, he might lead Katita in a 2 vs 5 situation. Tigril and Silvana Tigril is one of the tanky heroes in MLBB and quite an annoying one as his skills are purely crowd control. It is easy to execute the combos when you apply CC skills to enemies as it leaves them with no chance of getting away. At first, let Tigril ultimate the enemy and Silvana can ultimate them just right after that as Silvana's ultimate trap the enemy and Tigril squeezes them into a single place. After that, Silvana can finish them off easily with her skill too. Franco and Selena You will never wish to get hooked by Franco if you are stunned by Selena Zero. This one is basically an easy way to help out Franco to hook the target. Franco's men should know how much practice it needs to successfully hook another hero without missing. An easy way to carry out this combo is Selena stunning the enemy with her arrow and Franco hooking the same enemy followed by his ultimate and then Selena can do the rest. 
but this is not an easy combo as Selena needs to be accurate with her skill too and the results will also depend on Selena's arrow accuracy. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. Atlas and Farsa Everyone who has dealt with an annoying Farsa must have known how much damage her ultimate deals. Well, Farsa's ultimate is probably the largest area of effect damage skill, which also lasts for quite a long time. With Atlas grabbing a bunch of enemies along with Farsa's ultimate, the damage is quite unreal. The best way to do it is by letting the tank go in first with his second skill and ulting them. Farsa can simply ultimate or can stun them first with her skill 1 and then use the ultimate. Either way works fine for her as the slows of Atlas will eventually make them fall under Farsa's AoE damage. Gatot and Giniwa Gatot ultimate scares you right when it lands perfectly. The larger AoE mark of Gatot Kacha's ultimate knocks you up after you are trapped inside it. Gatot Kacha is regenerating tank and fighter that deal massive damage and has two CC skills. His second skill taunts the enemy and his ultimate deals damage while knocking you in the air. Coming to Giniwa, she is known for her knock up and ultimate combo, where she is even immune to the enemy's CC. To execute this combo, Gatot Kacha needs to initiate by using the ultimate and taunt the enemy and Giniwa can do the rest by using her second skill and ultimate. That's the reason why these two heroes form a deadly combo together. Johnson and Badang Players feel pretty helpless when they are hit by Johnson's ultimate as it stuns and slows you for a while. Pairing Badang with Johnson's might be a nightmare for most of the immobile heroes. Here is how it works. Johnson picks Badang in his car and they get controlled by his ultimate. After that simply use your second skill to raise the wall and use ultimate and your job is done. I know what combo everyone is waiting for and for doing this combo you need a girlfriend. I mean you need someone who can play Angela. And you can do these combos with Assassin such as Gushen, Ling, Fanny, Lancelot and more. Basically Angela can make every Assassin better but this is not a good pick for the late game. And at last we have Lolita in Sicilian. If you are heading into a late game with Sicilian, make sure you maintain adequate distance to avoid his first skill damage. If Sicilian managed to gain huge stakes, he can melt everyone easily. Coming to the Lolita and Sicilian combo. Use Lolita's ultimate with the flicker trick that will stun maximum heroes lying in her ultimate area. Swiftly use the second skill for more CC effect and use the first skill of Sicilian while using your ultimate for continuous damage and movement speed. And before ending this video, here is a shout out from our previous video. Smoil Umrujakov, Yoi Hanbar Roll Number 1, Mix Gaming 1, Yeshi, and Moi Diksha. So that will be all for this video. Do comment down below on which combo you like the most. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.